Hey everyone, what's up newbie snake here? How are you all doing today? First of all, I'd like to thank you all for your patience in waiting for this video and second of all, I'm very sorry for the long wait. I have been very tied up by my work for the past two days. In fact, it is 1.30 a.m. right now and I just got home about 30 minutes ago or so from work. So even though I really wanted to record and upload a video one or two days ago on the Jiraiya, Ten Ten, and all other updated events and news, I wasn't able to due to time constraints. But here I am, I just got home a while ago and I thought that I have to record and upload this video now or else you guys will probably need to wait for another day or so because my time at home tomorrow is very minimal as well. So today I'll only be covering the details of the Taiyuya events as well as some minor news and spending my 50 gems. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the news first. You guys will probably see like 11 updates, but I checked through all of them and nothing much was, uh, you know, nothing much I haven't talked about, okay, except the Twitter thing right here. So basically for the first two news is that the Sasuke gacha and the Naruto gacha, the Indra and Ashura one has been reset. So the first multi-summon that you do will guarantee you a five stars, all right? So for both of them. So that's two news out of the way. And then we had a Jiraiya and 1010 event, but now there's only, what, 24 minutes left, you know, until it's gone. So those were the ones that I wanted to cover, but I couldn't. So probably I'll have to wait for them to come back next time. So the Tayuya event's right here, which I'll be covering soon. And then I'll also talk about the Twitter event today, okay? The only thing on the news part here is this co-op mission Nine Tails Fox, because I talked about that before. Um, on 7 o'clock p.m. on August 26, this event will happen. So probably in what, 20 something minutes? So about 26 minutes or so, or probably like an hour or 26 minutes. So I haven't looked at the clock yet, so I can't really do the conversion, but it's within the next few hours. Uh, so in order for me to record a video on that, you guys will probably have to wait because again, I just mentioned, I probably won't be home much tomorrow. And uh, okay, so let's talk about this one. This one is the same time as the release of the co-op mission for the Nine Tails Fox. It's the Mike guy, uh, well, the, the, the Eight Gates Night Guy rock festival right the final part of it so the festival's final part is coming along with its uh, quest i kept trying to call it mission but i keep thinking of quest but anyways the mic guy quest okay remember we had like the first stage second stage third stage now the fourth stage and yet the final stage is here uh, which includes the run part and battle part as well because previously some of them only had run parts some of them only had battle parts this time we have the battle and run part and then uh, I'll talk about that when it comes out okay so that we're gonna be having as well as the uh, the festival right so the festival for the gacha this time instead of featuring Rock Lee and Mike Guy and three other units they're featuring almost all of well, basically all of those exclusive Ninja Festival exclusive units. So such as the summoning Naruto, summoning Sasuke, summoning Sakura, and then we have the Madara and uh, Hashirama, Sage, Naruto, etc. Basically all the Super Ninja Festival exclusive characters are included in the fourth and final week of the night guy rock festival okay so and as usual when you do a multi-summon you get one festival ticket when you get 20 i mean festival tags when you get 20 festival tags you can trade for those tickets if you get 30 festival tags you can trade for anyone of your choice okay again it's coming out in a few hours or so or in less than 20 minutes almost okay so by the time i upload it it's probably gonna be here but you know, I will try my best to record this as fast as possible so I don't get the maintenance uh, us update or sign that will kick me out and then I'll get this loading screen maintenance and stuff like that and then GG and then, you know what I'm saying? So my video will not be complete. So I'll be probably stuttering a lot. This will not be perfect. I won't be editing this out and stuff like that because again, I am trying to make sure I can record this within 20 minutes before before the server either kicks me out or have like a minor shutdown or whatever, right? So let's try that out. So I'm sorry for, you know, the imperfectness, but my videos were never perfect anyways. Okay, so let's go and we're going to talk about the Twitter one first because that's actually, you know, the 
uh, you know, the most simple one. Right now, from the day, of, I mean, time of recording, we still have five days left. You can only do this once, okay? So when you do this once, it will cost you zero stamina, and uh, you just have to complete it within 70 turns, 80 turns, 90 turns. Basically, I believe this is really simple. You probably just punch him and he dies, right? So um, he's gonna give you three ninja stones well this mission is going to give you three uh, ninja stones for the first time completing and when you complete all three special requirements you're going to get the nindo increased item all right five stars nindo increased item when you get s rank you're going to get the 761,000 gold and then these are the available drops okay uh so you can either get the secret book of the ninja world or the six stars uh training material or the money or five stars uh all type skill scroll all right so i believe these are only available drops I'm not sure if they will actually drop all of them if they do good stuff good for you good for all of us okay so we each get one of each all right so not not a big deal if you don't get those because those are easy uh the most important thing is the nindo increase item the gems and the gold right and that's it make sure you guys do them uh like do the mission because you guys will probably want to and uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through the 10, 10, 1 and stuff because, you know, it's pointless, only 18 minutes left. So let's talk about the Tayuya one. I know it came out like one or two days ago, but now let's quickly go through that as well. So this is like the retro fourth part, right? Uh, for the special featured characters, we have the five stars Tamari and five stars, um, uh, what's his name? I was going to say Kimimaru, I was going to say Orochimaru, but... Shikamaru, yes. Anyways, points bonus only, no uh, damage bonus from 12 times all the way to 20 times, depending on your Nindo level. And if a four stars character, you can go from four uh, times points bonus all the way to six times, again, depending on their Nindo level. And then we have these things right here, right? I mean, these characters, so you guys can just check that out. So again, they stack. That means if you have, um, you know, Shikamaru and Tamari, then it'll be 12 plus 12 equals 24 times the points bonus. Okay. I will, let's see if I have time. Let's, let's go through the six stars version of those two right now, like right away. Okay. And I'm sorry for, uh, you know, trying to rush this right now. I'm very sorry. But again, please understand, I literally just got home like not long ago. And I really want to do this for you guys. You know, if I don't do it right now, you're gonna, you guys are gonna miss out, right? You guys are gonna miss this, uh, or I don't know what you guys are missing actually, because this event is actually not going away. We're just missing the 1010 and stuff. But still, I would like to try to, you know, make this happen for you guys. So I want to keep you guys longer, right? Okay. So six stars version of Tamari. First skill: summoning type. Trigger speed fastest. Chakra cost 70. She deals 5% plus 3,000 damage to a single. Sorry, my bad to the enemy's whole team. 5% plus 3,000 damage to the enemy's whole team. And also, when your enemy is under paralysis status, it will deal three times the damage to them. So three times the damage bonus of 5% plus 3,000 damage, all right, to the enemy's whole team. Second skill is a no type skill. Trigger speed is fastest, chakra costs 40. It buffs her own agility and skill damage by 100%. And ability, Leader skill is exactly the same, buffs um, all white type attribute units, buffs their attack and agility by 20%. And ability number one, attack is increased by 60% and chakra cost is decreased by 20%. And ability number two, uh, you are totally immune to paralysis. Summoning type skill damage is increased by 100%. All right, so that's six stars Tamari for you. And then we have six stars uh hubby the shikamaru okay first skill secret type trigger speed fastest chakra cost 60. it deals seven percent plus three thousand damage to a single target enemy there's a chance that this will lower down that enemy's uh, attack and agility by 60 percent and also will put them under paralysis all right again probably a chance to do that and then uh when your hp is higher the chance of um putting your enemy under paralysis is higher see again it's only a chance so second skill is a no type skill trigger speed is fastest chakra cost is 60. it buffs your whole team's attack defense and agility by 60 percent so five stars only buffed by 50 now it buffs the whole team by 60 percent that's a really high buff anyways leader skill only benefits konoha units and sand village units all right it, it buffs their max hp and attack by 20 percent and also uh, incoming negative status effects are lessened. 
uh, ability number one, agility is increased by 50%. Skill damage is increased by 100%. Ability number two, max HP and attack is increased by 30%. And also there's a chance you will be dodging skills. When you dodge skills, skills are, you know, deal no damage to you guys. All right. So that's it for the two six stars. I have remembered to go through my six stars this time. And uh, let's talk about the prizes before I go through uh, that list. All right. Okay. So we have Tayuya. And I'm just going to go through the six stars version because you guys already know her of her five stars version. Anyway, she is really good, if I remember correctly. So six stars version is probably, you know, even better. So first types, uh, first skill is again, Jutsu type. Trigger speed is fast. Tracker cost is 60. Uh, she deals 7% plus 3000 damage to a single target enemy. And also when your enemy is under any negative status effects, such as, well, I mean, it has to be these ones. Okay, so if your enemy is under the following effects, so uh, meaning poison, toxic, like the extreme poison, um, confusion, paralysis, charmed, like when you get charmed, and binding and stunned, all right? When these or any of these are to happen to your enemy, that enemy will take four times the damage, four times 7% plus 3,000 damage, okay? And then also, when you use skill one, your own chakra will be recovered randomly from 50% to 100%. Okay, so you can recover half or you can recover to max. But still, recovering half your stamina is crazy. I mean, chakra is crazy. All right, skill number two is a no type skill. Trigger speed is fastest, chakra cost is 40. There's a chance that it will debuff your enemy's whole team's attack, defense, and agility by 50%. And also there's a chance to cause paralysis, confusion, or charmed, all right? So you can also charm your uh, enemies. Okay, so leader skill only buffs sound village users. Uh, attack, defense, and agility is increased by 20%. And again, it's sound village uh, units, not sound village users, all right? They don't use the sound village. But anyways, attack, defense, agility increased by 20%. Ability number one, after every action, attack and agility is increased by 25%, maximum uh, up to three times, all right? So this effect will stack up to three times max. Ability number two, Genjutsu type skill damage is increased by 120%, and after every action, chakra is recovered by 15%. Okay, so let's take a look at her flute. Uh, regular effects, meaning if you don't equip to the following Tayuyas. By the way, I got Tayuyas name correctly this time. I did my homework, all right? Anyways, okay. Attack and agility is increased by 20% and Genjutsu type skill damage is increased by 20%. If you equip the flute to her, then your attack and agility is increased by 50% and Genjutsu type skill damage is increased by 100%. And also, we have over here, uh, Sound Village rope belt okay uh, if you equip this to the uh, if you equip this to anyone else other than the following units then incoming binding effects will have a chance that will be halved all right has a chance that it will have incoming binding effects uh, but if you equip this to the following units then binding like incoming binding and confusion status effects will be useless to you. You'll be immune to those two. And your max HP and defense is increased by 70%. All right. And over here we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have Shikamaru's uh, kunai, the explosive tech kunai. If you equip this to anyone else other than the following Shikamaru's, your max HP and attack is increased by 40%. If you equip this to the following guys, uh, your max HP and attack is increased by 80% and secret type skill damage is increased by 50%. And then over here, we have um, the Lantern of Temari. Again, she always has things that I keep forgetting, like her uh, this one and her scythe and stuff like that. Crazy stuff. Anyways, so after every action, Chakra is recovered by 5%. Wind type skill damage is increased by 10%. This is the regular effect, meaning if you don't equip this to any one uh, of the following units, okay? If you equip this item to the, uh, the following units, after every action, Chakra is recovered by 15%. Your, all your skill damage is increased by 30%. So that's it for uh, the thing. And also, I just remembered, uh, I remember for my last video or the the one before my last video where I talked about the Sand Village uh, boots. Remember this agility boot? 
Uh, Giovanni corrected me. Giovanni is um, a, a fellow viewer. Um, he corrected and said it's not increased by 80%, it's increased by 80%, all right? So if you guys remember w which I'm talking about, uh, please remember I made a mistake there. The, the regular effect is increased by 50, and the unique effect, meaning if you equip this with a Gaara or something like that, or whoever, I forgot, or Kankudo, uh, it increases their speed by 80 like flat, not 80%, because agility goes by the number, right? So sometimes they don't use percentage, okay? So it was 80. If you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> or you guys can backtrack and check out that video, because right now, I'm, we only have nine minutes left, so let me just rush through this. And <laughs> yeah, if you guys are confused, let me know in the comment section down below, or just go check out that video again. Or you guys will probably know if, if it doesn't increase it by 80%, okay? Because I really want to sneak in a multi-pole and see if I get Madara as well. All right, so here we go. Rewards for this, uh, for doing the Tayuya event, all right? I'm not going to go through the weaknesses, strength, etc. If you guys really have trouble, feel free to comment down below. I'm sure a lot of the experts will, will reply to your comments. And most of the time, their strategies are really awesome, all right? So yeah, just do that. Comment in the comment section down below if you guys have questions. All right, here we go. 100 points, you get 10K gold, all right? And then you get this three stars level up material, uh, like the training material. And then we have Stamina Recovery Ramen, uh, Ninja Stone, Chakra, I mean, sorry, my bad. This is called Chakra Orb, but this is actually the four stars training material. So three stars training material and then four stars training material at 2,000 points. And then we have Ninja Stone, Stamina Recovery Ramen, 50,000 gold, Monkey King, Another four star training material, ramen, ramen, training material, four stars, 50,000 gold, training material, four stars, um, monkey king, ramen, 50,000 gold, ramen, 100,000 gold, three stars, nindle level increased item, ramen, uh, rock league training material, ramen, 50,000 gold, all type skills grows, two monkey kings, two rock league training material, ramen, three stars, nindle increased item, so same thing as the earlier nindle increased item, it's three stars. And then we have five ninja stones at 20,000 points. And then we have two all type skills grows, a three stars nindo level increase item at 24,000 points. And then one ninja stone, ramen, ro two rock lead training materials, one uh, ninja stone, two rock lead training materials, ramen, all type skills. I'm uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, secret book of the ninja world at 50,000 points, okay? And then all type skills grows five stars at 55,000 points. And then we have Ninja Stone. And then we have Temari's uh, Lantern, Ninja Gear at 65,000 points. And then we have three stars, Ninja level increase item. And then we have Ramen, four stars, Ninja level increase item, one Ninja Stone, three stars, Ninja level increase item, 200,000 points. And then we have five stars, Tayuya at 100,000 points. That's awesome stuff, all right? So you don't have to grind too hard. I believe. All right, so ramen, four stars, and then the level increase item, and then we have the uh, Shikamaru's Kunai at 130,000 points, and then we have three stars, then the le level increase item, uh, ramen, then the level increase item, four stars at 200,000 points, and then we have the um, the belt, the Sound Ninjas belts at 250,000 points, and then we have two Ninja Stones at 300,000 points, two All Type Skill Scrolls, one Secret Book of the Ninja World at 400,000 points, ten Rock Lee Chain material and then one flute, all right? Tayuya's flute at 500,000 points. And then after that, at 600,000 points, you get Tayuya, and then 100,000 points, you get a Tayuya, and then every single 100,000 points after that, you get a Tayuya all the way up till 1.5 million points. And then you're gonna probably max out her Nindo level at 11, all right? So that's it. Right now, it's 1.54 a.m. my time, so we have six more minutes left. Let's do the gacha poll, all right? I'm so sorry for the rush today. I'm like rapping, all right? I basically didn't even breathe or something. Well, actually I did, all right? I'm just saying. But uh, I've been just talking, talking, yapping, yapping, all right? If you guys missed out anything, please pause the video, go back and just re-listen to it again. Usually, I will try to pace myself at a slower pace and I explain things in a much more detailed fashion and then most of the time well sometimes right not most of the time uh, i edit out stuff cut out stuff and it makes things nicer for you guys but right now again no time to do that just got home sat down record a video for you guys and i'm gonna go to bed afterwards so good luck to me i'm gonna do my first multi-summon well after the reset and then hopefully i get madara all right hopefully i'll get a good night's sleep or else i don't know what to do man all right here we go here we go, here we go. 
da 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 Sorry about that music. I just thought of that. Oh, is it him? Come on out. <sighs> what a letdown. All right. Well, I mean, he's still pretty good. You know, don't get me wrong. I just had to have too many of him. Okay. Whoa, I didn't expect that. The five stars, but uh, oh well. Ooh, another one. Come on out. Ah. And that's it. And that's it. I was really tempted to also spend my remaining 10 gems to do like solo posts, but since we're also getting the, you know, guy, night guy rock festival and all these Tayuya stuff that I haven't done yet, maybe I'll be able to get myself up to 50 gems again and do another uh, consecutive poll, right? Like another multi summon. So I don't know. I'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's my luck so far. And so thank you everyone for watching. Again, I really apologize again for the long wait, first of all. And second of all, for this rushed out video. Please understand, I really want to get this out ASAP for you guys because I know my schedule tomorrow. If I don't record it now, you guys will probably have to wait like another one day or two. So at the end, you guys probably have waited like three to four days. And I think it'll be even worse for you guys if I don't record this. All right. So please understand, like I'm all in a hurry. I, again, I repeated myself a lot tonight. And again, because I couldn't really do any editing and stuff like that right now. I just want to get this out for you guys. So I really apologize for all the rushed uh, thing right now. Okay. I, I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys still appreciate the video. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Again, I'll get to you guys when I have a chance to. Because uh, I have really been busy. And uh, so yeah, if you guys really enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for more quality content. And as always, I'll see you all at my next video. So take care and bye now.